My name is Will Wright, and I've been singing with the St Martin's Voices for the past two years. It's always amazing to sing at St Martin's and to celebrate Christmas a little early this year. Um, we've been really lucky to finally record live in the church, which has been a real luxury for us over the past seven months of singing virtually. The carol you're going to hear now is Away in a Manger, but perhaps not the tune that you may know. This is an arrangement by Reginald Jack, um, and it dates back from 1911. This is a personal favourite of mine because of the way he weaves this wonderful text with these wonderful suspensions going through the upper voices and lower voices throughout each verse. Hello, my name's Izzy, and I've been singing with St Martin's Voices for two years now. I was also previously a choral scholar here, and I'm currently also part of the St Martin's Fellowship Programme. The next carol we're going to hear is the 16th century English Christmas carol, Luli Lula, Thou Little Tiny Child, commonly known as the Coventry Carol. It refers to the Christmas massacre of the innocents in chapter two of the Gospel according to Matthew where all infant males in Bethlehem under the age of two were ordered by King Herod to be killed. The solemn, quiet atmosphere created reflects the mood of a lullaby sung by the mothers of the fated children. Oh, sisters, 
My name is George Cook and I've been singing at St Martin's for the past year as a call scholar and now with St Martin's Voices. The next carol we are about to sing is Ding Dong Merrily on High, a 16th century French melody harmonised by Charles Wood. The tune first appeared as a secular dance known under the title Grand Le de l'Official, a dance written by Johann Tabouret. The lyrics are from English composer George Ratcliffe Woodward, and the carol was first published in 1924. Woodward took an interest in church bells ringing, which no doubt aided him writing this fantastic carol. My name is Jess, I'm an alto at Martin's Voices and I've been singing with the choir for almost four years now. The carol you're about to hear is called In the Bleak Midwinter and it's a setting of the poem called A Christmas Carol written by the well-loved English poet Christina Rossetti. It's a rather more stark contrast to many of the other popular Christmas songs being more simple and sombre in tone and the poem focuses on the birth of Jesus and features many images um, associated with the nativity. These words have been set many times, but the two most common settings you'll most likely know are by Harold Dark and Gustav Holst. Whilst Dark setting is more commonly chosen as the nation's favourite, even being voted by leading choir masters and choral experts as the best Christmas carol in 2008, I personally favour Holst's much simpler setting, one so fitting to the humble simplicity of Jesus' entrance into the world, and that's the setting you're about to hear.
My name is Rachel and I'm a current Choral Scholar and Voices Fellow at St Martin's. The carol you're about to hear is O Holy Night, composed by Adolf Adam in 1847, originally with the words of the French poem Minuit Chrétien. The carol reflects on the birth of Jesus as humanity's redemption and has been recorded by numerous popular and classical artists, and famously by Mariah Carey. Today we perform a choral setting of this well-loved carol by Kevin Norbury, and we hope you enjoy. One of my pet phrases is a future that's bigger than the past. The pandemic has threatened the very future of St. Martin's. With our site closed for months, we've missed our community and we'd suffered great financial losses. And now we once again face a period of closure and uncertainty. But I hope you've heard tonight how we have also worked to overcome this adversity. And my prayer is that this adversity draws us closer to what's most important and makes us more ambitious in pursuing the simple virtues of Christ-like living in which generosity is the best investment. The joy of St. Martin's is that we do all these things, goodness, truth and beauty, 
in a way you seldom see anywhere else to quite the same degree. I hope in 2021 we begin to emerge from this torrid time simpler, humbler, more grateful, closer to those who love what we love and confident in a future that's bigger than the past. I hope you'll wish to help us with this future. If you can, please make a gift to support us this Christmas. I'm so grateful for your support. I wish you joy this Christmas with love from all of us at St Martin's. Ring us, 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 ring us